The film opens with a deceptive scene that initially appears to depict the murder of a blonde model, but it is soon revealed to be a mere photo session. Subsequently, we are introduced to Jessie, a 16-year-old girl hailing from a small town who has relocated to Los Angeles, driven by her aspirations of becoming a renowned model. Jessie, an orphan with limited social connections, lacks the necessary skills and experience required to thrive in the modeling industry. Entering the world of fashion with hopes of attaining financial stability and transforming her life, Jessie's innocence and lack of self-assurance are evident. She remains unaware of the realities and complexities that exist beyond the confines of her small hometown, making her journey into the glamorous yet cutthroat world of modeling all the more challenging. Jessie arranges for her photo shoot with a photographer named Dean, hopeful that it will serve as a stepping stone towards her modeling aspirations. While Dean finds himself attracted to Jessie, the feeling is not reciprocated from her end. During the shoot, Jessie crosses paths with a makeup artist named Ruby. Ruby is taken aback by Jessie's exceptional beauty, finding it difficult to fathom how someone can possess such remarkable allure. A conversation ensues between Jessie and Ruby, leading to an invitation from Ruby to become friends and attend a party together. At the party, Jesse encounters Ruby's acquaintances, Sarah and Gigi, who are equally captivated by Jesse's striking beauty. However, Jesse finds it challenging to engage socially at the gathering due to her inherent lack of confidence. During the lively party, Jesse joins Ruby, Gigi, and Sarah in the washroom for a quick refresh. As Ruby applies lipstick, she shares an intriguing tidbit, revealing that lipstick often bears names inspired by food or sex, intended to entice girls into purchasing them. Curiously, Ruby turns to Jessie and poses a thought-provoking question, inquiring whether Jessie perceives herself as a symbol of food or sex. Gigi interjects with a compliment, likening Jessie to a delectable dessert due to her endearing sweetness. Carrying on with their beauty rituals, Ruby proceeds to apply lipstick to Jessie's lips. Gigi, captivated by Jessie's stunning hair, expresses her admiration, wishing her own locks possessed the same level of beauty. However, it becomes apparent that Gigi's beauty is not entirely natural. She has undergone numerous surgeries to achieve success as a model, earning her the nickname Bionic Woman from her surgeon. Jessie, true to her convictions, responds by stating that beauty attained through surgery is not something to take pride in. This statement upsets Gigi, revealing a hint of tension and conflict within the group. Sarah, another model present, possesses natural beauty, but as time has passed, she has lost some of the youthful charm that Jessie effortlessly exudes. The underlying emotions and interactions among them gradually unveil a growing sense of jealousy directed towards Jessie. The following morning, we see where Jessie lives. She gets ready and heads out for an interview with a renowned agency. The agency is impressed by Jessie's stunning beauty and the photos taken by Zodine, and they sign her on. Jessie tells everyone she's 19, as she's quite young for the industry according to its norms. She also shares that a famous photographer has invited her for a photo shoot, which makes Jessie very happy. The lady from the agency tells Jessie that if she can handle the pressures of the industry, she'll go far and work with all the top designers. This implies that the lady recognizes Jessie's beauty could catapult her to the rank of a top model. Following this, Jessie catches up with Zodine and shares the exciting news. Zodine inquires if Jessie has seen the photos she took, to which Jessie falsely replies that she hasn't. They both head to a hillside where Jessie confides in Zodine about how she used to feel, as if the moon was watching her when she looked at it, like it was a fiery eye. After their conversation, Zodine brings Jessie to a motel. In Jessie's room, an unexpected event occurs. A mountain lion mysteriously appears. Upon witnessing the situation, Jessie becomes frightened and decides to contact the owner of the motel who is notorious for exploiting young girls aspiring to be models. This is because many of these girls choose to stay at his establishment. Subsequently, Jesse arranges for a photo shoot with photographer Jack, with Ruby also present to handle Jesse's makeup. Jack is taken aback by Jesse's beauty and instructs everyone else to leave the room for a private session. He then requests Jessie to remove all her clothing and applies golden paint to her body to create an erotic atmosphere, resulting in a successful photo shoot. 
After the session, Ruby waits outside and asks Jesse if Jack acted inappropriately towards her. Jesse assures Ruby that nothing untoward occurred and expresses her satisfaction with the photo shoot. Ruby cautions Jesse about individuals like Jack, who exploit vulnerable girls, advising her to maintain a distance from them. Ruby shares her contact number with Jesse, affirming that she can reach out if she ever needs assistance. That same day, Ruby catches up with her friends, Jesse and Sarah, and shares news of Jesse's photo shoot. Both friends are taken aback because a renowned photographer like Jack usually doesn't work with newcomers. Jesse mentions that Jack has been doing her photo shoots regularly. Sarah warns that Jesse's time in the spotlight will soon be over because Jesse is set to replace her. This comment upsets Jesse. Later, Jesse attends an audition with famous designer Robert. Sarah is also there by chance, and she's not pleased to see Jesse. She believes that her chances are slim compared to Jesse's natural beauty, and that Jesse will likely be chosen. Sarah walks the catwalk, but Robert doesn't pay her much attention. However, when Jesse takes her turn, Robert is captivated and completely taken by her. He's so impressed that he signs Jesse on the spot. Seeing this, Sarah becomes upset and angry about her rejection. She vents her frustration on a mirror in the washroom. Sarah realizes that as she ages, Jesse will replace her and she'll fade into obscurity. When Jesse goes to check on her, Sarah tells Jesse that she's fortunate because all eyes are on her. Sarah feels like she's invisible to everyone else. Then, Jesse accidentally cuts her hand on a piece of glass and starts bleeding. Sarah, in a bizarre turn of events, begins to suck the blood from Jesse's hand. This frightens Jesse, and she runs away. After this incident, Jesse hides from Hank and retreats to her motel room. Hank, who had been demanding payment for a broken door, is momentarily forgotten as Jesse rushes to clean her wound. She's interrupted by a knock at the door and finds Dean there with flowers. Overwhelmed by her injury, she faints. When she wakes up, Dean is by her side, and she embraces him. Dean then steps in to help Jesse by paying Hank. The following day, Robert's fashion show takes place. Jesse, who was chosen to participate, is there, and so is Gigi. Gigi is taken aback when she sees Jesse and questions how she managed to get selected for such a prestigious show so quickly, especially since she's new and lacks experience. Gigi accuses Jesse of sleeping with Robert to secure her spot. Robert assigns Jesse the coveted position of showstopper, a role that was initially meant for Gigi. This presents a significant opportunity for Jesse. When Gigi learns about this change, she is taken by surprise and clearly upset. Throughout the show, she directs resentful looks at Jesse. Despite this, Jesse remains unfazed and confidently takes her place at the center of the triangular stage. In a surreal moment, Jesse encounters a vision where three blue triangles materialize, each casting a shadow that resembles her. As Jesse shuts her eyes, the triangles undergo a chromatic metamorphosis. Simultaneously, her once innocent demeanor undergoes a profound transformation, embodying boldness and fearlessness. With unwavering confidence, she passionately embraces her own shadows, seemingly captivated by her own allure. Following the conclusion of the show, Jesse and Dean venture to a local bar. To their surprise, Robert and Gigi are present at the same establishment. Robert takes the opportunity to convey a message to Gigi, emphasizing that beauty achieved through cosmetic enhancements is artificial. He asserts that regardless of Gigi's efforts, she can never attain the innate and genuine beauty possessed by Jesse. However, Dean holds a contrasting viewpoint. He disagrees with Robert, contending that true beauty emanates from within, transcending mere physical appearance. According to Dean, genuine beauty resides in one's inner qualities. Despite Dean's advice for Jesse to depart, she firmly declines. Upon their return to the motel, Dean awaits outside Jesse's room. Curious about his presence, Jesse questions him, prompting Dean to challenge her choices and inquire whether she desires to conform to the ways of others. Definitely, Jesse asserts her refusal to emulate them, emphasizing that they all aspire to emulate her instead. With that, she retreats into her room. Later on, Jesse experiences a distressing vision wherein Hank enters her room, brandishing a knife and posing a threat. This startling vision jolts her back to reality. Shortly thereafter, a knock sounds at her door, causing Jesse to feel frightened, yet she refrains from opening it. From the adjacent room, 
Jesse hears a girl's screams, leading her to suspect that Hank is responsible in posing harm to the girl. This realization instills a profound sense of fear and unease within Jesse, making her feel unsafe. Recalling Ruby, she contacts her and extends an invitation for Ruby to stay at her place, seeking solace and reassurance. However, Jesse's sense of security is still compromised in this new environment. After going to Ruby's house and taking a bath, Jesse confides in Ruby, revealing that she has never engaged in any physical intimacy and remains a virgin. Upon hearing this, Ruby, captivated by Jesse's beauty, attempts to exploit the situation and make advances towards her. Jesse firmly rejects Ruby's advances, which Ruby finds difficult to accept. It is during this moment that Ruby reveals her true profession by drawing something on the mirror. She is actually a makeup artist who specializes in preparing deceased individuals to appear presentable at funerals. This explains why Ruby did Jesse's makeup for the murder-themed photo shoot. Following this revelation, Ruby begins to perceive the dead body she is working on as Jesse, as if Jesse has completely captured her heart and mind. Ruby indulges in an intimate connection with the deceased body, driven by a strong sense of desire that she associates with Jesse. Surprisingly, Ruby does not feel jealous of Jesse. Instead, she seeks to establish a closer bond with her. Jesse becomes utterly absorbed by her own allure. She adorns herself in a beautiful dress, applies makeup, and positions herself at the brink of a pool. She views herself as an angelic figure and is convinced that anyone would sacrifice anything to have her beauty, even if it meant becoming a lesser version of her. Unbeknownst to her, her intense fixation on her own beauty blinds her to the presence and needs of those around her. This prompts Ruby, Jesse, and Sarah to confront her. In a shocking turn of events, they inflict harm upon Jesse by breaking her leg and forcefully submerging her into a pool, resulting in her demise. Jesse's rejection of Ruby, combined with the complications arising from her beauty that affected both Jesse and Sarah, deeply disturbed them. These circumstances ultimately drove them to take drastic measures. Subsequently, a horrifying series of events unfolds, portraying the three individuals brutally taking Jesse's life and engaging in the gruesome act of consuming her flesh. They proceed to immerse themselves in her blood, creating a disturbing and chilling spectacle. Following that, in the moonlight setting, Ruby rests unclothed on the floor, experiencing the unsettling occurrence of blood emanating from her intimate areas, and it abruptly transitions, introducing Jesse and Sarah. Jesse accompanies Sarah to a location designated for her photo session. Once the makeup is complete, the photographer named Jack prepares to capture images of Jesse and the other girl. However, he becomes captivated by Sarah's allure. Upon witnessing this, he extends an invitation to Sarah to participate in the shoot. Sarah agrees with enthusiasm, as it aligns with her desires, bringing her joy. Both Sarah and Gigi then prepare themselves and assume their positions for the photo shoot. After a while, Gigi starts to feel unwell and retreats indoors. Concerned, Sarah goes to check on her. Gigi's condition has significantly worsened. It unfolds as she vomits Jesse's eye. She's in so much pain that she decides she needs to remove it. Unable to bear the pain any longer, Gigi stabs herself with a pair of scissors, ending her life. Despite witnessing all of this, Sarah remains calm. The movie ends as Sarah bends down to pick up the all-seeing eye that had fallen on the ground. She then puts it in her mouth. Afterward, she steps outside and returns to the photo shoot. Did this story spook you out? Let us know in the comments below. For more horror movie recaps, subscribe to our channel, and we will see you in the next one. Fear awaits you.